Hello everyone. In this session, we want to talk about remote dialing settings for users. And we need to go into Active Directory, Users and Computers. And we want to select a user. We're going to select Ben Smith by right clicking on Ben Smith and selecting Properties. We can find the dialing tab here in the properties for Ben Smith. So we want to click on dial in. Let's take a look at the dial in properties for this account. First, we have network access permission. And we use this property to set whether network access is explicitly allowed, denied, or determined by the network policy server policy. If access is explicitly allowed, then the network policy server will override whatever setting that you have here for network access permission. If we were simply setting access for this one user on the standalone, we can click Allow Access. Note that we can set access to group policy when we have network policy server installed and we have network policies in place for the network policy server. For our session, we are looking at the policies for a single user. After the network access permissions, we have Verify Caller ID. When this is enabled, the server verifies the caller's phone number. Caller ID has to be supported by the caller. Then we have here callback options. And if this property is enabled, the server calls the caller back during the connection establishment at a phone number set by the caller or a specific number set by the administrator. Assign static IP address. If this property is enabled, the administrator assigns a specific IP address to the user when the connection is made. We also have a setting for applying a static route. And if this property is enabled, the administrator defines a series of static IP routes that are added to the routing table of the remote access server whenever a connection is made. And these settings are for demand dial routing. Remember, these are the dialing properties of a user and a computer account. If a network policy server is set up, then the network policies that are configured override the setting that you would have here for the individual user account. In other words, policies set by the network policy server will control the remote access of users and client computers. This is the end of our session on remote dialing user settings. I want to thank you for listening.